Hello, Cedar Ridge, and welcome to the season three premiere of Wolf TV. I'm Olivia. I'm, I'm Alyssa. Alyssa. And I'm Rachel. <laughs> Fresh in all our minds is Hurricane Florence, and it's near miss of Orange County. Let's hear the story. Last week, Cedar Ridge was bracing for Hurricane Florence. I'm ready to die. Over the break, though, Orange County experienced what could almost be called a miracle. The hurricane swerved around Orange County like it was an elderly, slow-moving cyclist on the Hurricane Highway. Let's see how people reacted to the anticlimactic meteorological showdown. How were you affected by the recent hurricane? I wasn't affected that much. We had our power went out for a little bit and a tree was in our driveway, but not much. Uh, I wasn't exactly affected, but like, you know, it was a little crazy. There isn't much rain now, you know, so we're fine. I really wasn't. There was really nothing. I didn't even know anything was going on. Do you think that you could have prepared better for it? Uh, no, not really. We didn't use any of the water or anything we had, so no. we over prepared. I mean, no, because I wasn't in my house, so, you know, there's nothing I could really do. Although fallen trees and lost power were the extent of Florence's impact on Hillsboro, the same cannot be said about our neighbors on the coast. For the next two weeks, Cedar Ridge is holding a Hurricane Relief Club meeting to benefit our eastern neighbors. Hi, everybody. Um, before I came to Cedar Ridge High School, I was working as an assistant principal at West Carteret High School. So when um, Hurricane Florence hit the coast, it, it really impacted me because those were a lot of my friends and people that turned into my family while I was living down there and a lot of people there lost everything. So if you guys can donate, um, you know, non-perishable goods, water, um, you know, snacks that you guys like, um, it would help go towards the school's food pantry. Two years ago, when I was there, the SGA decided to um, create a food pantry for students that were in need. And anytime somebody needed anything, they could just go, go there um, to get whatever items that they needed um, to make sure they were hungry and taken care of. Because, you know, if you are physically starving, you won't be academically um, on task and on target. So that was a really um, great initiative that the students put in place. And especially in a time like this when students um, eventually will go back to school, it would be nice that they still had sustenance. Um, so whatever you guys could give would be appreciated. Um, thank you. A little friendly competition can go a long way in creating change. Now, for on lighter note, let's hear from Fast Girl. Hi, I'm Fast Girl, and we're going to be seeing how many people keep up to date with viral videos. I'm going to be saying some catchphrases and seeing how many people can finish them. Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. Okay. Catch me. If you can. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, wait a minute. Don't know that one. <laughs> Sorry. You better. Stop. You better stop. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> yeah. Hurricane Katrina, more like. I haven't heard this one. <laughs> Catch me. Outside. <laughs> Thanks, Fast Girl. It's comforting to know that at least some of Cedar Ridge's students are worldly and cultured. And now for a quick update on sports. Hello Cedar Ridge, I'm Jamari Graham and I'm this year's sports analyst. We all know we don't have a varsity football team, but we do have a JV football team come out and support them. On Monday, we have women's tennis away at Orange High School, volleyball away at Berlin Yancey. We have a soccer match here at Cedar Ridge at 6 p.m. against Hillside. On Tuesday, we have cross country at 4.30 against Hillside, Northwood, and East Chapel Hill. We have a volleyball game home at 5 against Northern Durham. On Wednesday, we have a tennis, we have a tennis match at 4.30 against Northern Durham. We have a soccer game home at 5 against Southern Durham. On Thursday, we have volleyball away at East Chapel Hill. We also have football home at 6.30 against Northern Durham. We have women's golf at Chapel Hill. And on Friday, there isn't any games, but come out and support. That's all we have for sports news.
Thanks, Jamari. Last but not least, Spirit Week begins October 1st. Here's a look at what the week entails. Let's do it. Oh, okay. That's all for today, folks. Pre-recorded in Hillsborough.